ten ships bigger than Gerald R. Ford's supercarrier. The Gerald R. Ford is a class of aircraft carrier being built to replace USS Enterprise and eventually the United Navy's existing Nimitz-class carriers. It stands about 250 feet high, 1,106 feet long, and has a displacement about 100,000 tons. A crew of 4,600 to 5,000 is required to man the carrier when it is fully operational. The supercarrier is capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft including the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, F-A-18F Super Hornet, E-2CD Hawkeye, E-A-18G Growler, and MH-60S Seahawk. Gerald R. Ford is the biggest aircraft carrier in the world today, but you will be surprised to see that the vessel does not even qualify for the top 10 biggest ships ever built, so let's dive right into it. At number 10 is Freedom of the Seas. The MS Freedom of the Seas is a cruise ship operated by Royal Caribbean International. She is the namesake of Royal Caribbean's Freedom class and can accommodate 3,634 passengers and 1,300 crew on 15 passenger decks. The vessel also has four crew decks below the waterline and the Freedom of the Seas used to be one of the biggest ships during her time. Its length is about 1,111 feet or 338.7 meters long and 209 feet or 63.7 meters tall with a displacement of 100,000 tons. Up next at number 9 is USS Enterprise. The USS Enterprise was the longest Navy ship and the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier ever built. She served in the U.S. Navy since 1958 and was officially decommissioned in 2017. USS Enterprise has a length of 1,122 feet, making it the longest carrier in the U.S. Navy. Its waterline beam is 132.8 feet, draft is 39 feet, and displacement is 94,780 tons. The flight deck area is 4.47 acres and its width is about 252 feet. At number 8 comes the British transatlantic ocean liner, the Queen Mary II. She has served as the flagship of Cunard Line since succeeding Queen Elizabeth II in 2004. As of 2017, Queen Mary II is the only purpose-built passenger ship designed as an ocean liner as opposed to a cruise ship. Built in France and measuring more than twice the size of her predecessor, the Queen Mary II weighs an incredible 79,300 tons and at 1,132 feet, it is one of the longest passenger ships in the world. At number 7 is MS Or Brazil. The MS Or Brazil, previously known as Vale Brazil, is a very large ore carrier owned by the Brazilian mining company Vale. She is the first of seven 400,000-ton very large ore carriers VLOC ordered by Vale for Daewoo shipbuilding and marine engineering. It is designed to carry iron ore from Brazil to Asia. The overall length of Ore Brazil is 362 meters or 1,187.7 feet, making her one of the longest ships currently in service. The breadth and depth of her hull are 65 meters and 30.4 meters respectively, giving her a gross tonnage of 198,980. At number 6 comes the Oasis class of cruise ships. The Harmony of the Seas is a class of four ships built by France for Royal Caribbean International. She is the second largest passenger ship in the world, surpassing her old sister Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas. In length, however, Harmony of the Seas is the longest cruise ship in the world. Measuring 1,188 feet long, she is taller than the Eiffel Tower or twice the length of Washington Monument. At number 5 is TI-class Super Tanker. The Tanker's international class of Super Tankers comprises of four ships, the TI Africa, TI Asia, TI Europe and TI Oceania. All four oil tankers were constructed for a shipping company Hellsbond Group by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in Okpo, South Korea. TI-class measures about 380 meters long and 68 meters wide, making them one of the longest super tankers. These ships are wider than the new Panama Canal locks and they also cannot travel through the Suez Canal unless on a ballast voyage. 
At number four comes the MSC Golson. The vessel at the time of her launch in 2019 was the world's largest container ship. Built by Samsung Heavy Industries in South Korea, she is almost 62 meters or 203.5 feet wide and almost 400 meters long. With a cargo system designed by McGregor International AB, the ship has a capacity of 23,756 containers in rows of 24 across. MSC Gulson is registered in Panama and operated by the Mediterranean Shipping Company based in Geneva, Switzerland and the Netherlands. Number 3 is Batilla's Class Super Tanker the Batilla's class supertankers was a class of supertanker ships built in France at the end of the 1970s. Four such ships were built between 1976 and 1979, serving until the final one was scrapped in 2003. While there were minor differences between the four Batilla's class ships, they all approached a gross tonnage of 275,000 and 555,000 tons dead weight tonnage and had a length overall of over 414 meters, longer than all but a few of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. At number two spot comes the gigantic super tanker, the Seawise Giant. The Seawise Giant was damaged and sunk during the 1980-1988 Iran-Iraq War by the Iraqi Air Force attack while anchored off and carrying Iranian crude oil. The ship was struck by parachute bombs. Seawise Giant was known by many names such as the Happy Giant, the Yari Viking, Nok Nevis, Opoma, and Mont. It was an ultra-large super tanker that was the longest ship ever built in the 20th century. It possessed the greatest deadweight tonnage ever recorded and fully loaded its displacement was 657,019 tons. And finally, at number one spot comes the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas platform as well as the largest offshore facility ever constructed. Prelude is more of a vessel rather than a ship. The world's biggest ever vessel, Shell's Prelude Floating Liquid Natural Gas FLNG ship, has finally reached its home off the coast of Australia. The cost of this vessel is 10 to 13 billion US dollars, almost the same as the Gerald R. Ford. It is 488 meters or 1,601 feet long, 74 meters or 243 feet wide, and made with more than 260,000 tons of steel. The vessel will displace around 660,000 tons when fully loaded, more than five times the displacement of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. And with that, we're winding up the video for today, but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can become a part of our Buzz family. Thank you guys for viewing in, bye-bye.